Normal view in Articulate Storyline is what we're looking at here, and this is where you can view and customize really everything about a particular slide in your course. Like one of the things that you'll probably want to do initially is insert your content. And up here in the insert tab, we've got all sorts of options for the things that you can insert, you know, screen recordings, pictures, shapes, characters, lots of different media. Uh, buttons. There's just all sorts of stuff that you can add to your slides. You can also go to the design tab where you can change the design of your course or this particular slide. You can go to animations where you can select a transition for the slide or if you select an object on your slide you can also add um, an entrance animation or an exit animation. Plus in normal view you can just do regular stuff like move things around like if you select an object and move it um, you know it behaves just like you would expect you can also resize things it's all very intuitive and easy very easy to use um, down below your slide you've got even more tools a timeline lets you control exactly when every object appears or disappears from your slide there's a states panel where you can uh, create and edit different states for your objects so that they look different depending on how your learners interact with them. And then we also have a notes pane where you can add some text that you want your learners to see on your player. Over here in the right, we've got a triggers panel. This is really cool. It lets you set up actions that allow your learners to interact with your course. And then we also have slide layers. You get to um, create layers on your slide if you want to, and then you get to pick when those layers are revealed. Like in this example, I've got a separate layer for each of my characters here. And when the learner mouse is over a character, then you know one of these layers is going to appear with some additional content. So normal view is huge. This is where you'll probably spend almost all of your time when you're building your courses. This is where a lot of the action is going to happen for you. So there's a few different ways to get to normal view. Let's say that you're in story view, which looks uh, something like this. One way is to find the thumbnail of the slide that you want to edit, and then you can double click on that, and that's going to take you right to normal view. Another way to get here is if you go to the view tab from anywhere in your course, you can then click normal and that's going to also open up normal view. A third way is this little icon right down here in the lower right next to the zoom tools. Um, there's an icon in the middle, the second one here. If you click on that, that too will open up normal view for you. And then once you're here, um, like I said, you can add a lot of content. You can also use these zoom tools down here to get a closer look or to back off if you want. So this little slider works great. You can zoom in or out. You can also click on the percentage to open up this dialog where you can choose a value or enter your own. Um, another really neat way is you can hold down your control key and then use your mouse wheel to scroll in or out. That's my favorite way of zooming. It's just really, really quick. And that zooming um, of the mouse wheel also works over here in the sidebar. So if you select one of these um, slide thumbnails over here and do the control uh, mouse wheel trick, it's going to zoom all the thumbnails in or out. So that's pretty neat too. And speaking of the side, the sidebar over here, another thing that you can do is uh, click and drag any of these slides and you can even move them. So you can see how that little um, arrow is appearing, you know, where the slide will end up if I release my mouse button to drop it. So really easy to rearrange stuff. Now one of the really great things in Storyline is that you can also have multiple slides open in normal view if you want to. And that is wonderful because if you do a lot of switching back and forth among slides when you're doing your authoring, it just makes it really easy to do that. So what we can do is go to Story View and let's just open up a few more slides. And when I do that, you'll see that these um, new tabs appear up here right above my slide workspace. So I'll just go and open maybe one more here. And now there's three open at once. They're all, I think, actually all from different scenes or several of them are. So it's really easy to just go back and forth between them if that's something that you need to do. And then if you decide that you're done with any of these, if you're finished editing, you can always just click the little X here on the tab to close that back up and the tab goes away. And if you ever did need to reopen it, you could always go back to Story View and open it back up again. So at the bottom of the written tutorial that goes with this screencast, you'll see a list of additional links that'll help you learn a whole bunch of different ways that you can use normal view to build your slide content. You'll see how to insert stuff on your slides. You'll learn how to work with a timeline, learn about how to work with states and triggers and layers, um, how to customize your slide properties, plus a whole lot more. So those are great resources to explore as soon as you're ready.